So uh, just a little bit about me. My name is Ryan Watkins. I'm a senior consultant here at Stone Ridge Software. And I've been working with Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Power Platform in its various versions and flavors for about the last 14 years. Uh, and I am excited every day by the new things that are being released on Power Platform. And I just can't wait to see what's next. So today we're going to talk about uh, modern themes. First thing we're going to talk about is what just happened uh, with Wave 1. Then we'll get into the differences between classic themes and modern themes. We'll build a theme and apply it in our environment. And I'll give you a couple of resources to help you after the session. So that said, uh, Wave 1 just happened here on April 22nd in North America. So if you had not already applied it in your environment, it is now in your environment. And one of the things that Microsoft changed as part of this release is the new look is now on by default. So you can see the, the new look toggle up at the right is now on by default. You can still turn it off if you don't like it or if you found some challenges with it. Um, but I like it. I think it it's a, a fresh new look. And with modern themes, you can make it look even better. So what are the differences between them? So classic themes, obviously they don't apply in the new look. They're not solution aware, so you have to create them from scratch in each environment. Uh, they do allow a custom logo, so if you want to brand your software, it's nice that they you have the ability to do that with the classic themes. And you can adjust a lot of different things, so the header color, accent colors which affect things like your business process flows um, links and a few others and they're configured directly in the ui uh, by going into the advanced settings customization and then themes modern themes on the other hand only apply if you have the new look turned on they're solution aware so you can create web resources that contain the theme for each environment, put them in a solution and promote them through the environments and set each one specifically. You also have the ability to change themes across apps. Now, you can't adjust the theme for any of the out of the box apps. So, you know, field service, customer service hub, sales hub, any of the out of the box. Um, Microsoft apps, you can't customize with their own theme. They will, however, take on the new default theme that you create. They don't support custom logos. I put an asterisk there because hopefully they will in the future so we can keep branding our software. Um, and right now it only affects the header. So you can't change any of the accent colors in other areas of the software. Um, but they are applied using an XML web resource. So let's take a look at what it, what we need to do in order to build a theme. So let me change from sharing my PowerPoint to sharing my screen. And you'll see here, this is uh, a custom app. Uh, actually, this one is not a custom app, sorry. This is uh, the, um, the sales app um, with the basic out-of-box theming, which is this dark blue navigation bar. And you can see when you hover over buttons, you'll get a different color background. When you click it, it's a different color background. Um, so there's a couple components to the navigation bar here. So if we want to create a new theme, the first thing we're going to do is go to make.powerapps.com and create ourselves a solution. So I've created a new solution called Themes, and I'm not going to put anything in it yet. So right now, you have two ways you can create new themes. 
you can create a theme by manually creating an XML file and following the documentation on what needs to be included in that file. Or you can use one of my favorite tools, XRM Toolbox. And if you don't already have it, just go to xrmtoolbox.com. You can download it from there and they have tons of tools that you can add into it. One of them is called Modern Theme Builder. It's actually underscore n dot modern theme builder. This tool will allow you to build your theme graphically. So I've already connected to my environment. I'm going to open up the tool. And I'm going to say open working solution. I'm going to pick my solution file. And I'm going to say create new theme. And you'll notice that as a best practice, they put the themes in front of it. So I'm going to say this is the Stone Ridge theme. Hit OK. And now I can come in here and customize each one of these colors. So I've got my handy document over here. That gives me all the color codes I need to put the Stone Ridge colors in my app. Round hover. Background pressed. Change here. And background selected. Hex code in, hit OK. And I can actually now preview what my app looks like. So I am going to save this theme. Takes just a minute. And now, if I go back to my solution, you'll see that it has added this web resource called Stone Ridge Theme. Now, that hasn't done anything in our environment yet. There is another step you need to take in order to apply the theme. So, <clears throat> when you're in your solution, you're going to add a setting. So if you say add existing, go to setting, and just search for header. And there's a setting called override app header colors. Uh, it can be a little confusing because there's also a setting that says override app header colors web resource. You don't need that one. Just override app header colors. Hit next. It'll take just a second and then it'll by default say include the setting definition. We'll add that component to our solution. Once it's there, we'll go in. I clicked the wrong thing there. We'll go into the setting, and if you scroll down, you'll see uh, setting for environment variable. So new environment variable, I'm going to hit plus, and then I need my, oops. Put in the URL of my web resource. 
I'll hit save. Take just a minute. And now if I go back to my environment, and I do a hard refresh, which is control F5. Take a minute. I think I put quotes when there shouldn't be quotes. Okay, let's try that one more time. There we go. And so it might be a little bit hard to see on the web, but you can see that my new colors have been applied to the theme. Now I did mention earlier that you can also apply themes to your custom apps. So here in the setting, if you have a custom app, you will see a plus sign here where you can, just like you did up here, enter the web resource for the theme you want applied, hit save, and then you'll need to go in and republish that app for it to show up. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to um, put them in the session chat. We'd be happy to answer them. Um, but let me give you some resources that you can use going forward. So there's a couple of resources on Microsoft Learn. Uh, one is about modern themes, and there's one that uh, talks about the way one changes that applied to the modern theme. And then also XRM Toolbox.